Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play series. In the last episode, we did a lot of uh, expansion. We got a much larger development room, larger QA room. We got a larger lounge, larger bathroom, larger research room. We got a second development room that we're not using yet, and we got a sound studio, and we got some space here. Uh, we're going to put a workshop here, actually. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and build that. Why wait, right? We know what we're doing with the space. We might as well just go ahead and do it. Right? Yeah. All right. So how many desks can I fit in here? How many do I need is the other question. I probably only need... Let's just go with eight. I think eight is plenty. Yeah, let's go ten. No, let's just do eight. Let's stick with eight. I guarantee there's nowhere near eight um, people... <laughs> available for this room anyway um so this will give us lots of space to put this kind of stuff in so we got uh trash can right there by the back wall water dispatch actually doesn't give us that much space apparently these tasks take up a lot of space all right so we're gonna need some heating obviously heating there 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 should cover it let's get some heating in the hall Heating there. Medicine cabinet. Right there. Let's see if we can get a nice plant for these fine folks. And then we will pretty the room up a bit. Um, workshop. What kind of paintings would they like? Let's do a mix. We'll go with an artistic there. We'll go with an animal there. Some architecture over here. And then we will put the Starship Enterprise over here. Now, the question is how many... Oh, and let's throw some carpets down, too. Why not? Um, one of these. A couple of these. Right there. 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 Is that pretty enough? That's pretty enough. All right, now, the question is... How many technicians are even available to hire? One. <laughs> That's all right, though. We, oh, not researcher. Hardware engineering. There we go. Welcome to the team, Stephen Lang. You are just going to sit and do nothing until we get a couple more people. Produce arcade cabinet. Nothing. We need to make an arcade cabinet first, but we're not going to do that yet because we don't have enough people there. So we are currently researching a platformer. Um... We just made an RPG. We did an action game before that, which is our specialty. Our graphics team is currently in training. Actually, I feel like I need to get... Is there any good graphics artists out there? Yeah, let's hire these two people. They'll get through that training quicker. But now this room is going to be full. Um, if necessary, I could cut out some customer support, I think, and make this room a little bigger. I could probably squeeze a couple more desks in here if I really wanted to. So let's make a game. What kind of game do we want to make is the question. Um, we want to do an update. Have we done an update for Orcs and Dragons 2? Oh, I remember now. We were going to do a puzzle game, weren't we? That was the plan. Have we updated the engine of puzzle games? We did not. So let's do that now. And then we will make a puzzle game. Katari? Yeah, Katari works. And you folks will probably not a game report. Nope. What about commission work down here? Nope. All right. Oh, did not mean to pick up that heater. <laughs> Away we go. All right. So let's get this engine done. And then we'll make a puzzle game. I believe. I believe that's what the plan was. <laughs> I forget. That was yesterday. That was so long ago. We could do a platform if we wanted. But we would have to do a new engine for it first. So let's not do that. All right. Sequel? Yeah, I think we should do a sequel. Bounty Puzzle? No. Detective Looch? Didn't sell well, though, but it'll have 40 hype. It was reviewed well. Then we could do Dig Site. Actually, let's do Puzzle Pets 3. Ooh, we could do an arcade cabinet. I think we can um, port stuff to arcade cabinets, though, right? That'll be something we'll do probably with our second development team once we actually have them <laughs> but what's going to happen too is once my research team 
gets through all the major research and you just kind of keep them around for the occasional thing, you can use them in your second development room, right? Um, so Rodovan, any new dev kits that are good? Two million, so that's creeping up, as is that one. But I believe the uh, Commander Pete is still the best option. All right, so we're pros at the 2D block graphics now. Getting better at the rest of the stuff. We got some copy protection, which is good. Sorry, pirates. Not today. All right, so that all looks good. Right there. Um, put you down there. Uh, go like that. Sure. Turn everything on that applies, which is 12 things. Character progression does not. We're going to turn it on anyway, just to get the star in it. it does, it's not going to do a lot for us. Costs a bit of money, but that's fine. All right, improve gameplay. Let's do it all. I'm going to make this one good. All right, so they're still in training, unfortunately. Let's make it sound really good, too. Even though, to be fair, sound is not important <laughs> for this type of game. Um, so, yeah, let's... Let's blast through these topics. We got six people. They should get through them pretty quickly. Ooh. Uh, okay, those are both console things, which we don't have yet. Is there any programmers on the market? There's not. Lots of office workers. Pretty much just office workers. Oh, all right. We do not need office workers right now, unfortunately. All right, we still need this. these guys to finish training. Feels like it's taking forever to finish this training. All right, so let's queue up the work for them to do. We're not going to do all of them, obviously, because we're just they're not going to have time, right? Because they've been in training for so long. The game's over half done already. But it's worth it, right, to get the training in long term. Like, I'm hurting myself a little bit short term for long term gain, which I'm okay with. All right, so they are good on customer support. So let's do a uh, band campaign. Game convention, sure. It's a, it's costs a lot, but two thousand fans is a lot at this point in the game. All right, so they're in the last thing. They still have a thing to do. Yeah, well, obviously we're going to continue development. We got bugs, we got polishing, we got all kinds of things we need to do before we send this out. I expect really good sales out of this. Honestly, we still got room for two more people in this room too. Is there any QA people on the market? Well, there is now. There's everything on the market now. All right, so let's get let's take a look at this game tester. And no traits, but that means no negative traits. So you're hired. Uh, let's look at the game designers. Likes plants. Higher salary. Efficient. Let's hire the efficient guy. And what about programmer? You got one programmer. You're hired, Jennifer. We'll start uh, getting this second development team on the go here. So we want a game designer. Obviously, they're not doing much right now, but they can do an update. Free update for Ghost Boston. Now let's do Orcs and Dragons 2. I think... Having only two people in here, it'll take them longer, but the quality of work will still be good. I'm pretty sure is how it works. All right, so let's actually cancel the polishing. Let's go back and let's let's put the special effects in there. I think we have time. Well, we're going to be waiting for that now. Actually, they're getting through pretty quick. We do have nine people in that room, right? All right, so they're polishing. Nope. They're polishing. They're polishing. They're polishing. Game's looking pretty strong. Let's finish development. That's three stars. That's good. 80 to 100. This should be another 90% reviewed game. And it's got 43 hype out of the gate, which will help. That is good. This should be good. 92. Nice. Nice. That is awesome. All right. So let's do a quick commission work here. Quick game report over here. Um... See if there's any commission work here. There's not. What about here? There's two. So let's blast through these rightly. It should be really quick. 
let's uh let's turn off automatic here make sure there's nothing else really to do no let's just keep doing topics we are now a small game developer which is good um so let's do an update no no updates let's just do another game uh, let's do another action game is our action engine still up to date should be right we just made it no it is not <laughs> a couple of things actually okay so let's update that and we'll make another action game because that is our specialty all right we get a little extra sales or sorry not extra sales we get a little extra review scores and um and people don't get bored if we make a lot of them so we got another game designer so let's hire them and is there a programmer there is a programmer two negatives though takes breaks during crunch time that's fine gets sick yeah you know what you're hired and you folks can do an update for puzzle pets three so this is why having the dev second dev team is good right so this they can update engines they can make game updates while my main group just focuses on making games that's the plan that's why you want to have two dev teams so we'll do a new action game do -do -do, where's action right there um assassins sure assassins works we'll go adults and we will call this Night Knife. That's something that works for assassinations, right? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to say it is. All right. Action Engine. Tap 2. Kateri. Radovan. 2.3 for the Kateri. 850. I think the Pete probably still has a little more. Yeah, 2.7. Okay, we're getting better at this stuff, which is nice. So only one of these scores is correct. So let's take a look at the game analysis here for Ghost Bustin'. So it wants 10, 40, 30, 20. So 10, 40, 30, 20. But we're actually going to move these, move all through these, all three of these down one. Move this up three because we don't have a special room for this, right? We can get all we have the QA room for the gameplay. We have the graphics studio. We have the sound studio. We don't have the most cap studio yet. So this should work. And then let's take a look at letters for Ghost Boston. Enthusiastic, enthusiastic. Okay. More beginner friendly, more innovation, better level design. Level design, innovation, beginner friendly. And then we also have too innocuous, too easy. Too innocuous, too easy. All right. That'll be, should be a little better, right? It'll take a couple games before we really get it locked in. Turn everything on here. Everything applies, and a lot of it is green. So this should be even better than the last one. I've spent too many design points. Oh, I forgot to take points out. <laughs> I put points in and forgot to take them out. So let's go. There we go. That should work. And boom. Let's improve the gameplay. Enable all. Yeah, I mean, gameplay's not that important, but yeah. I'm at the point in the game, money in the bank. I'm just going to make the game as good as I can pretty much every time. Right? All right. Is there any sound people out there? There is two. We could hire both. Yeah, they both have good traits. Yeah, so let's fill this room up. They'll get through it quick. And that way, if we need to train them, right, we'll have time. All right, so. Let's do an update for what? Works and Dragons. It's still selling really well. I think I should do another update for it. All right, they're still blasting through the research. It's good. Is there any more programmers? What's this? Develop engines much faster. Perfect, because that's exactly what you're going to be doing. All right, Bikers Revenge 3 off the market, maybe 2.5 million. Is there any tax? There's two tax. So we will soon be able to make some arcade cabinets with my tax that I have. What, I have three now? Is there any commission work they can do? No. That's fine, though. All right, so they're working on that. They're making it better. They're making it better. This group's not doing anything, so they can do some customer support. They're making it better. Yeah, see, look how fast they're getting through these, right? With six people in here. That's good. Very little hype. That's fine. Puzzle Pets 3. Not selling as well as I hoped, honestly. So let's do an update for it. See if that helps. 
These updates are starting to get more expensive, <laughs> but still within reason. Uh, we are going to continue development. I'd like to get that estimated score up to at least 70 to 90. Right? 60 to 80 is not good. Let's do the large booth. We'll do puzzle pets, orcs versus dragons, and night knife. We don't have any consoles yet. We will eventually, though. We're just not quite at that point yet. All right, so can we port the game to arcade cabinet? Um, what do we want to port? It's funny, Detective Looch has IP value. Let's port Ghostbusting to our arcade cabinet. All right, so main platform. Okay, so we got to buy the arcade cabinet thing. Um, yeah, better one. Sure, let's go with the better one. There we go. Um, engine. This is an action game. Perfect. We can't move these, though, is the problem. Can we move these ones? We can. So we know that needs to go up. All right, let's go with that. Turn on everything that we can. Obviously, not everything applies to an arcade cabinet. All right, so how long is it going to take to port this over to an arcade cabinet? Okay, so can I start making the cabinets now? No, I gotta wait till the game is actually done. Okay, that's fine. All right, they're bugs. They're squashing bugs. They're polishing. They're polishing. So we're just waiting for the bugs to be gone. And then we'll put it out. And hopefully it's at least a 70 to 90 estimate. If it's not, it's not, though. All right, so we got some new research. So let's uh, take them off automation. Oh, Ghostbusting lost some points. That's unfortunate. All right, um, ooh. A lot of bugs. We're gonna have to get rid of those bugs. All right, engine feature, modern 2D block graphics. You guys can stop doing that, and you can start squashing bugs. For ghost busting, is there any game testers out there? Because I could use one. All right, another hardware person as well. So let's hire them first, and then let's hire a couple of game testers, or at least one. We will take a look at their traits. Um, that's the one. I don't mind if people take a break during crunch time. That's not a big deal. All right, so we want our QA department to be a little faster. All right, let's put Night Knife out. Yeah, 70 to 90, that's fine. As long as it's, like, over 80, I'm okay with it. And over to Data West. We are getting better at stuff, which is important. Not much hype behind this one. Oh, yeah, 86%. That's, that's good. That's... I was going to say it's perfect. It's not perfect. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> I should probably do what now? What have I not done in a while? RPG is the trend. I should probably do another RPG. All right, so there's getting rid of the bugs. Bugs are gone. So let's put this out. Finish development. Ooh, 40 to 60. Huh. Why is it so crappy? Because it's my bet. Because it's my secondary team. Um, components quality up. Screen quality up. So it costs four forty. Sell them for a thousand. Profit of five sixty. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to put the profit at. Honestly, sell them for nine fifty. I guess. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I should put the stuff up or not. All right, let's see what happens. I haven't done an arcade cabinet in a while. Yeah, 50%. All right, that's not good, but we'll manage. All right, so let's produce. So they just make them, I guess? All right, so let's do an update for Night Knife. Oh, we can update the arcade cabinet, actually. So let's do that first. All right, what do we got here? Research. I guess we could do size A. Let's get that out of the way. All right, so we were going to do an RPG because it was a trend, right? 
Our RPG engine definitely needs work because we got that new graphic thing, right? Modern 2D block graphics. Everything else is good. We're getting lots of stars and everything else too. So we should be able to make this a pretty good game. Let's do a game report. Ooh, we got two game reports to do. So I should not have done that particular game because our sliders were like nowhere near where they needed to be, right? So I should have held off. But that's fine. All right, so let's make... Sequel, first fantasy, or second fantasy, I guess. Uh, we will just do that. Second fantasy two. Uh, deuce. <laughs> just putting as many twos in there as I can. All right, we'll go B plus. Uh, let's go something other than knights this time. Do we have like wizards maybe? Sure, let's throw wizards in there. Why not? And we got our sphere engine plus 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 plus. I may have miscounted the pluses and added a couple there. It's possible. What do we got here? Two point six, two two. Oh, eleven million personal computer. Okay. Wow. That's crazy. How many people have a personal computer? Did it just come out or did I miss it? I'm actually gonna go with. What else was here? Was there something higher than 2.6? Um, 2 million, 2 million. Yeah, let's go with the one I already have, I guess. Right? 2.7, the Pete. I could go with the Rodovan, but it takes a little longer to make games for the Rodovan. So we'll go with this one. All right, so we're new with this, but we will be maxed on these other three after this, which will be good. Eight five eight eight five four. So these are wrong. So one of these needs to go go up, and the other one needs to go down. Obviously, right? Actually, so orcs and dragons. Let's copy orcs and dragons too. Uh, did I miss it? I missed it. Must be at the top. I guess it's the order we release them. So I, yeah. Copy the design settings. Okay. So that one's still. That one goes there. So that one must go there because it's still not right. Right? Um, that all looks good. So, yeah, so let's take a little letters for that. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. More core. More innovation. So innovation up. Beginner friendliness down. So zero beginner friendliness. RPGs are not for beginners, folks. If you're a new video game player, do not play an RPG. All right, everything applies. That is nice. That should help. I'm expecting this to be over 90%. Especially if I put all the point, all the stuff I can into it here, which I'm going to. And the good thing about RPGs, too, is they don't care as much about the, um, the whatever this green thing is, technical points or whatever. Which is good, because I can't give it many technical points. Right? <laughs> All right, so let's do an update for Night Knife, right? Yeah, that was the plan with them. They are making their arcade cabinets. We are not making much money off these arcade cabinets, but I think part of the problem was it's such a it's not a good game, right? <laughs> Probably should have done a different game. All right, we got a developer legend tech. We might as well hire them. You're hired. And what do we got? We got programmers, game designers. We got everything right now. All right. Um, oh, definitely going to hire Gabo here. Quick learner and all-rounder. Yeah, those are good traits. To have somebody in our main development room. All right, so 70 to 90, but still a lot of work to do. There's a bunch of bugs, so I, I think it, it'll be 80 to 100 when it's done, and it's going to be over. Uh, so let's do a quick commission work here with these folks. Get that out of the way. And then decide what game type of game to do next and update that engine. Which will be a racing game. I haven't done a racing game in a while, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to do a racing game next. All right, so they're on the last thing. They're polishing. They're polishing. All the bugs are squashed. Just waiting for the sound team there. 
and let's develop update the old racing engine. It's been a while. Actually, racing is a negative trend. Never mind. We do not want to do a racing game right now. Let's take a look. Let's look at this. We got. We have an RPG coming out right now. Strategy is the negative trend. Or strategy is low. Racing's even lower. Platformers not is low. But it's not. Maybe I should do platformer or strategy. Right? Since they're uh just because they're not they're not saturated. Did I win anything? No. It's coming. It's coming soon though. Ooh, simulation, random story events, all kinds of stuff. I need a couple more people in my backup game room though. You and you. And a programmer. Because engine stuff uses programmers, right? Or uses your programming skill, not your game design skill. So you will develop an engine for... Do I want to do platformer or strategy? Let's go platformer first. And it'll be for personal computer. Turn on all the relevant stuff. Not everything, everything. Just the relevant stuff. Actually, and let's call this the plat engine. Just so it's easier to find the right engine. Let's get this random story events. And is it time to release this? Are they done? Yes, everybody's polishing. So let's release Second Fantasy 2 Deuce. 80 to 100? Nice. Only one star, but that's fine. They're upset that we didn't publish with them, but we have an exclusive contract, Panda. I can't. Like, I can't. Exclusive. It's a contract. I can't break my contract. What are we looking at here? 92. Nice. That is what we wanted. All right. So they're working out of that engine. They're doing that. We do game report over here. Let's through that. And uh, you know what? Let's change this. And then uh, that'll be all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did. Please do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, consider supporting me on Patreon, links in the description down below to all of those, and most importantly, be good to each other, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.